guys. So we are currently at the vet. Today, Roxy is going to be getting spayed. She's a little cold this morning. She said she didn't get her breakfast. But other than that, she's been doing pretty well. So I'll meet with you guys after I drop her off. Hi guys, so I just dropped her off at the vet. She weighed eight pounds now, which is how much her mom weighed. So she's gonna be a little bit bigger than her mom. Her dad was 11 pounds, so she'll probably be in between there. Um, yeah, she was pretty excited to see everyone. She always loves the vet. She loves seeing all the new people and just getting all the attention. So I don't have any fear that she's going to be scared or anything and that she's going to do well. And they're gonna call me as soon as her surgery is over and give me a time of when I can pick her up. So yeah, and let's see, her spay is gonna cost $175. So yeah, that's about it. And I will catch up with you guys when I am on my way to pick her up. So I am currently on my way to go pick Roxy up. The vet called me at about 10.30 this morning and said that she had finished her surgery and she was out and she was awake from the anesthesia. It's about three o'clock now. They just wanted to watch her for a while, make sure that she was recovering all good and that she was okay. So yeah, I'm on my way to pick her up now. Really hope she's doing okay and that her recovery is going well. I know when I picked up my bunny, Lollipop, um, after she had gotten spayed, she was just so sad and I could just tell she was in so much pain. So I really hope Roxy's recovering well. Yeah, I'll catch you guys when I have Roxy. So here she is. You can tell she's definitely not feeling well. I got her medication and her cone. And yeah, we're just gonna get home and I will give you guys an update when we get home. Here's Roxy, she's not feeling well. Hi guys, so I just picked up Roxy. She's definitely not feeling well. Um, she whined pretty much the whole way home and I let her down on the grass to go potty and she squatted and peed and then would it move. So I had to carry her in and she is not moving. So I'm gonna try to give her some food because she hasn't eaten yet today and some water and see if she'll eat and give her her pain medication and put her cone on and get her all nice and comfy. I also have to wipe away her tear stains. Her whole face is just tear stains. Anyway, so yeah, I'll keep giving you guys updates. So I got her her food and her water. There isn't much food because they told me to give her less than normal. So yeah, we'll see if she can eat something. Well, that's my girl. She's hungry. No matter how much pain, she'll just eat. Does that taste good? We're gonna see if she can keep this down and then we'll maybe give her a little bit more tonight. She is now eaten and I got her all tucked in. So now we're gonna take care of some of those tear stains. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's been crying. Mm -hmm. There, no more tears. She's shaking. I can't tell if she's cold or just in pain. Should we get you your blue elephant? Will your blue elephant make things better? So I'm gonna go run and get her blue elephant. Keep her blue elephant in the crate in our bedroom. So let's go run and get it. I got the blue elephant. It's the blue elephant. She loves this thing. Got your blue elephant? That's what you want, you want blue elephant? I'll keep you company. Here you go. Here we go. Here you go. I'm just gonna let her relax here for a couple hours. Yeah, I'm not gonna put the cone on her. She's definitely too much in pain to even reach back there. Yeah. And you go, go. Yeah. Get a, um, get a nap. So yeah, she can't get that incision wet at all for about 14 days and she has pain medication for five days that we have to give to her at the same time with a syringe and yeah we just have to keep watching the incision and making sure it doesn't get pussy or anything and that she just heals properly and here she finally laid down she's got her blue elephant she's resting on hope she takes a good nap
On the day after her surgery, she was definitely more active in trying to jump up and down, even though she was not supposed to. But she did have quite a bit of diarrhea in the morning, so we just had to cut back her food. Pretty much every day, she just was getting more active. And pretty much by day three, she was her regular self. She did have to continue to wear her cone. We only put her cone on when we were not able to monitor her. Because she did not like it. We also had to continue to give her medication for five days. Roxy is now completely healed with just a small scar on her belly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed watching her spay experience. And I'll see you guys next time. And remember, live life to the fullest.